In this video I want to prove to you that digital painting is pretty easy. Even if you are a sucker like me, I'm pretty bad at drawing. But if you know how, you can still create something awesome. And here's how you do it. First of all, I recommend starting with a soft brush, drawing some pretty abstract shapes and just focusing on the values, on the composition and on the flow. Make sure you have some cool dynamic lines in there and definitely start in grayscale, okay? Starting with color is insanity if you're not a skilled artist. Now, before you move on, make sure you got the sketch right, make sure you're happy with it. And if you find it hard to get there, here's the technique you need to use. Simply start drawing onto a new layer every once in a while. And then when you turn it on and off, you see, did you improve the image, did you make it worse? If you improve the image, you keep the layer. If you made it worse, you delete the layer or turn the layer off. An absolutely massive tool is also flipping the image upside down, left and right, rotating it, zooming out as far as possible. Because every time you do that, it's like looking at your image for the first time again. And it's way more likely you'll be able to tell what your image needs, what the values of your image need. And once you got the core values of your image down, you can start zooming in and start adding some detail. It's very important that you don't mess the values up in this step. This is a mistake I used to make all the time. When you're zoomed in, you don't have the full picture and you add some additional contrast, you add some additional white and black and then suddenly when you zoom out, it looks absolutely crappy and you destroyed the entire values you set up earlier. So whenever you're zoomed in, just use the values that are in this area, that are around this area. Just use the color picker in the area of the image you're working on and this way you don't mess up the values. Also, when you're working on details, obviously, zoom out often, have a look at the entire image. Does it still look okay? If not, you can still try to improve the overall values of the image, try to correct it a bit. For example, keep in mind that things that are further away usually are a lot brighter and have less contrast. And then one tip that can also drastically improve the results you get is don't add details to all of the parts of your image. Focus on one area, put a lot of detail into one area and keep the rest of the image in this kind of sketchy style. Maybe in this image I've overdone this a bit, maybe I should have added a little more detail. But in general this is a great way to control where people are looking in your image, what the focus is on. It's also less work, less effort and in my opinion it just looks better. You don't need to do this in every single image. But in general, I think this is something worth considering, especially because it increases the speed of the process and it helps you to keep that kind of cool, raw and sketchy look in your image. Then for rendering all of the details, you mainly need to keep in mind where the light is coming from. Everything that faces the light obviously needs to be brighter. Everything else needs to be darker. Also keep in mind that objects can have a color themselves. So even if they are lit, they might be darker because they have a darker material. This is something I definitely missed out on a little bit in this image. For example, these towers and buildings you see in the background, they really all have the same value, which is a little boring. Also you see here, I'm still fixing and improving the overall values of the image. So definitely keep improving that as you go. Keep zooming out, keep flipping the image, keep adding new layers. Check if the new layers actually improve something, otherwise delete them. And then one really important, trick for beginners by the way simply don't draw anything that requires realism because if you want to draw a realistic house for example if you want to draw a person that is way more difficult and you actually need to be able to draw for that i feel like the stuff i'm showing you here is something almost everybody will be able to do if you put in the time whereas if you want to draw something realistic your best bet is probably getting a pretty good reference and just copying it from the reference before you go to adding color make sure you're absolutely happy with the gray scale Painting the entire artwork took me about 5 hours, adding the color was maybe 1 hour of that time, so it happens very quickly. The best way to go about it in Photoshop is color gradient layers. They give you the most control because you can choose different colors for shadows, different colors for the lights and all of that while keeping black black and white white and not messing up your values. Here you can see I use just three different gradients with three different masks and that's totally enough to cover the entire image. If you want to add color manually, which is what I'm doing here, is create a new layer and use the color blend mode because this is also a really good way of changing the colors without changing the values. One really important hack is also just overlaying a couple of textures. Find a blend mode that doesn't destroy your values too much, but that helps you to get a lot more variety into your colors. And then as the final step, you can just add some filters, increasing the contrast, increasing the saturation. Et voila, you have some really corny Me Too concept art or speed art or whatever you want to call it. But still, I think it looks pretty neat and I think you can create something like this pretty easily as well. Yeah.
in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to draw a beautiful image. Cause you, you wanted me to sing, so I'm gonna sing. Cause you, you wanted me to sing, so I'm gonna sing. I can't draw, she I wanted to draw, so I'm gonna draw. Start with adding rain Using color way too early as a beginner Is a big mistake Focus on the values first Try to, try to draw the line I make an abstract shape Who cares if it looks realistic? I don't care We just care about values and composition Trick number one, flip your image often. Trick number two, focus on the values and don't mess them up once you got them right. Trick number three, not all the areas of your image need to be super detailed. Just pick one area and make that one detailed. The other ones don't need to be detailed. Got it? Start with adding gray. Cause you, you wanted me to sing, so I'm gonna sing. Cause you, you wanted me to sing.